What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping and it has been a while since I've done that. And honestly, it feels good, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I took a little break and uh, we will talk about that at some point in the future. But for today, I just wanted to dive straight into a new project, do something fun and for today's project, let me tell you, I have a real beauty. And there she is folks in all her glory, this brand new 2016 125 gallon aquarium. Isn't she amazing? Let's get a closer look. Now check this out. I don't want to overhype this thing, but this thing has got it all. It has debris and remnants from tanks in the past. It has substrate already in there. Who knows how old that is, but probably the best feature of all right here. Do you see that? Do you know what this is right here? This is cork board stand covered with Sharpie to give the appearance of not having broken at some point in the past. Right now, I'm sure I've already sold you on this aquarium, but let me tell you, there is so much room for potential in this thing. And this is what I'm thinking. Stay with me here. I'm thinking we turn that guy into a 125 gallon North American native fish aquarium. And no one seems to be arguing with me right now. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking the same thing. Zach, you've been out of the game for a handful of months. Can you still work some magic on this tank? And uh, let me tell you, I haven't lost a touch. Check this out. All right, now I just got to find like a hundred pounds of sand. Oops, I forgot to turn it off. Now, if you know me, if you've been with the channel for a little bit, then you know I like to do things as cheap and simple as possible. I mean, I'm using a really old tank here, for example. So, uh, what I did is I went with my favorite substrate. This is just some play sand. It's really easy to get at any hardware store. And then I dumped in a bucket of just sand mixed with some kind of coarser pea gravel. Then I'm just gonna spread it around gracefully. One more bucket of pea gravel here, and I honestly was happy with the substrate. You know, it's natural-ish, and that's ultimately what I was going for, so I just kind of threw that stuff around, and now we do some driftwood. I get lost inside my thoughts, and when I start to think, oh, the how close it starts to end up on the brink. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my wings. Now I'm falling, and I can't see the ground. After playing with that driftwood for a while, you still can't tell how it looks because of how dirty the glass is, but we're gonna put some rocks in there, and then once this is full of water, you won't even see all this mess. So, next is rocks. Now, if a fish tank gets filled with water and there's no time lapse showing it happen, did it really get filled with water? So yeah, here's where uh, the fact that I haven't set up a fish tank in a while is uh, kind of showing through. Uh, I wasn't thinking about what type of filtration I was going to use on this, but uh, I knew I was just going to do two hang on the back filters because they're cheap and easy. But uh, yeah, this like one and a half inch gap is not big enough to fit a hang on the back filter. Meaning I have this tank now sort of full of water and all those rocks and I have to move it out from the wall a little bit. So, as punishment, you get to watch me struggle. Don't fall, day. Ugh. No. Is that enough? Oh. Nailed it. Now that we've fixed that, we can go ahead and get back to the obligatory time lapse. 
So at this point in the night, I'm just sitting in the chair, I'm listening to some music, I'm watching the tank fill up, you know, thinking nothing of it, and, uh, oh, oh, did you see that? Watch here. Dang. So let's take a quick second to talk about what just happened. In this world, there is something called buoyancy. Buoyancy. And what that means is sometimes in the water, things like, call it some driftwood, like to float if they have more air or bubbles or something inside. What you want is for it to sink, but it doesn't always do that. So what happens is chaos, like exhibit A. And exhibit A is not ideal when what you're going for is exhibit B. So here is the tank 24 hours later, and as you could probably tell, it looks a little bit different than it did during our time lapse. Uh, case in point, the gigantic boulder that's covering up that opening and that log that was giving me some sweet cave vibes. Now, does it look as good as it did the first time I set it up? No. But can I pretend that it looks better? Absolutely, because honestly, I am very, very happy with this tank and excited to get some fish in there, which we're gonna do here in just a second. So let me show you one more time what we did, and then I'll show you what fish we're gonna add to the new 125 gallon native fish tank. All right, so to recap, 125 gallon aquarium. The substrate is just a mix of play sand with pea gravel. Then we used a couple fake plants, two really big pieces of driftwood, and then two really big rocks to uh, weigh it down. We have two hang on the back filters on the back and then just some basic fluorescent tube lights on the top with this uh, lighting diffuser and then some corrugated roofing panels for our lids. It's gonna keep this thing sealed, the fish are gonna stay inside and it's gonna regulate the temperature because you might have noticed we're not running any heaters on this thing. Now, I know you can't see me because it's really bright, but I wanted to do that to get your opinion on the lighting of this tank. Right now, the way it's set up behind me, imagine this is one of those really bright LED light strips that just goes across the entire tank, and it really makes the entire thing pop. This is kind of how that would look. You could see everything, maybe a little bit more in the middle. Now, the way I'm running the lighting is like this. A little bit darker, you're gonna get a lot more shadow right here in this area, and then you don't see the filters as much in the back. They actually really disappear into that background. You get more shadows, you get more depth, and I think this looks a little more natural, and it's gonna give the fish more chances to hide, and this is what I like. But like I said, do you like it set up this dark, or would you lighten the tank up so that you could see more of it? Let me know down in the comments. Now you might not have noticed, but there's been a theme with this tank. Everything that I used on this tank, the aquarium, the substrate, all that stuff has been things that I already had laying around. That same theme is gonna apply to the fish because uh, all the fish that we're gonna put in here, at least right now, I already have in other tanks and they're about to get a pretty big upgrade. So yeah, definitely thought using that tiny net was gonna make the transition of uh, these fish smoother, but I failed. Well, who guessed it? Who guessed the two different types of species that went into the tank so far? Uh, well, here's one, and it's got some pretty recognizable green stripes there as it uh, picks up some of the debris that they stirred up. That would be your basic green sunfish. And there are three of these things in here, two pretty small ones. I thought this was the second little green sunfish, but nope, turns out it's just the first one having a great time. Just out exploring, doing all kinds of, this is my new home type things. Now, if we can find the big one, where did he go? I 
figured if I, I knew if I threw some food out here we could get the big guy to come out uh, even though they just got added to the tank these green sunfish are amazing they are always hungry they have incredible personalities I don't really want to blind them here but the colors are just oh so yeah then there's the smallest one uh, doing great as you can see been in the tank for about 10 minutes now uh, and then here's the other guy just your basic bullhead catfish which this guy was really really tucked into a nice cave in his old tank and is not all too pleased with me shoving a light in his face in his new tank so yeah there it is there's the 125 gallon native fish aquarium with four whole fish now those green sunfish are pretty cool they came from my local bait shop i paid a quarter for each of them i made a video on that if you're curious and want to check it out but uh, it's really, really neat to have quarter fish now showcasing. Oh, yeah. Now the big guy comes out. There's no way you're going to see him. There. I move the camera. Then he decides to come out and show off for everybody. But anyway. So, yeah. It's just it's cool for me that these bait shop fish that would have just been thrown on a hook and eaten are now the stars of this tank and we can do more of that. I'm curious if you wanna see me go back to that bait shop and find some more sunfish. Uh, we could add like a bunch of minnows that would eventually become food. We could go bass. I mean, whatever you guys wanna see, let me know. I have a lot of plans for this tank. One of the other things I'm gonna do is uh, show you how to turn those cheap, crummy uh, filters into some real powerhouses. So a lot of cool stuff coming with this tank and hopefully you guys are excited about it all right it's late and it's dark so if you came here just to see the 125 gallon aquarium build well there it is now would be the point in the video where i ask you to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know why you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you want to hang out with me with the fish and see some more of the fun stuff that we have coming which if you decide to do that i'd love you forever Honestly, I do appreciate that and I appreciate all the support that I got during those five months off. If you're someone who is curious where I've been for the last five months, because that was the last video I uploaded was five months ago, um, I think the easiest way to explain that is a live stream. I filmed this part of this video like six different times now because I just keep rambling and I'm like, we don't need to add 15 minutes to the end of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and schedule a live stream for a couple days. Uh, that'll give me a chance to answer any questions that you guys have and tell you more about the fish, where my hobby's been. Look for the live stream in the next couple days. Uh, get your questions ready and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Or you can leave a question in the comments and I'm going to try and start responding to all those again. But I'm back. I'm excited to be making videos again. I'm excited to be SC fish keeping again, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you to everybody who watched this video. Thank you to everybody who reached out and asked if anything was wrong or how I was doing during my time away. But uh, yeah, this is Zach with SC fish keeping reminding you that every fish is a keeper, even if it's a 25 cent sunfish. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget.